Hi, I'm Mark Hinchliffe, motorbikerider.com, and today we're looking at the Harley Davidson Ultra Classic. Now, for 2014, Harley has made a raft of changes, so many changes. They didn't just decide what they wanted to do, they actually went and asked you, and they asked bureaucrats. Now, let's talk first about you, the rider. What do you want? And you didn't want more power, you didn't want a, a bike that handles like a super bike. This does handle very well, but what you wanted was more comfort. This bike is quieter and more comfortable and the answer is blowing in the wind. They took this to two wind tunnels, two university wind tunnels. They don't often do that. Motorcycle manufacturers don't take their bikes to wind tunnels, but they have here and they've directed the airflow past your feet so, so that your legs remain cooler. They've directed the airflow nicely through here with this little vent here that takes all that buffeting away from your head so you don't get fatigued and so you can hear everything on the stereo. There are two sound systems and this one's the basic one. Basic, it's pretty damn good. And with this good quality sound, you can actually hear it now because of the windscreen reducing that buffeting. But you can also get the boombox system, which is sat nav, has more powerful uh, speakers and really crystal clear sound. I love this fact. You can put your iPod touch or your iPhone in here, charge it up on the go, run it through your system. You can also Bluetooth it to the system. You can Bluetooth it to your helmet. And when the boss rings, you can, well, <laughs> press reject, perhaps. I give this a big thumbs up for ergonomics. See how your thumb fits nicely into the contours of these controls? Uh, this toggle here makes it so much easier to work your way around the audio system. That's fantastic. And they've taken the cruise control from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, so you don't have to juggle with the throttle at the same time. Terrific. They've tidied up the instruments which means that they can make them bigger and it's easier to see them. What a great cockpit. They've gone to a hydraulic clutch and after some teething problems, it's terrific. It's just got a little bit more feel and it's a bit lighter. This is a very simplistic solution to a very complex problem. You used to have to use two hands to open the, the panniers from this side. It was clunky. Now, even when you're on the seat, you can open the panniers with that simple latch. How good is that? top box actually looks smaller but it's bigger. Strange, it's like a TARDIS, there's so much inside. Look at this. The great thing is you can open it up from the side without having to take your helmet or your passenger off the rear seat. You can turn nighttime into daylight with these lights. They call them the daylight lights and they've got LEDs in them which draw less power, last longer and give a beautiful white spread of light. And down here you can see where the radiators are tucked away discreetly in here. There's a nice little flap here to draw air, cool air onto your feet or close it up and let the warmth of the engine warm your feet in winter. They've also listened to the bureaucrats who said the bikes have got to be a bit cleaner, so they've gone to a partial water cooling system. Now the Ultras are the only bikes that have it because they've got the lowers here uh, where they can discreetly put the little the radiators. What it means for you, the rider, is that it's got a little bit more lively throttle, it revs a little bit better. Wow, this is, this is a fantastic engine for a touring bike. Another great thing about the water cooling is the uh, roll-on acceleration in the top end and also the fuel range that you get out of the tank now. It's just that little bit better and that's what it's all about touring is range. So thanks to you and your advice this is so much more refined. This is the bike you'd want to take if you're going to go all the way around Australia. Happy touring!